Hi, welcome everyone. Welcome to Cloud Unload community. Today we are going to discuss about Cloud Native Career Roadmap. Many people recently asked, what is the roadmap if I want to plan for Cloud Native? Because everywhere there is a talk is going on, demand around Cloud Native, right? So let's go inside. Hope you are able to see the screen, right? So what is cloud native? <coughs> so of course, we started 11 years back and officially registered around 2015. And we are keep on inviting people who are having the same like-minded. If you are interested, please reach out to me. And what we are doing is we are doing a lot of training and re-engineering part as well as we are also doing a lot of mentoring program. So in coming days, we will uh, go one by one. And we strongly believe if you fail multiple times in your own lab, you will have content to speak, right? And if you have a habit to build your own lab for any learning, you will easily get through any uh, sort of uh, new technology in terms of the interview, in, term, in terms of the client meetings or client discussion, everything. Because you are having a lot of experience. I mean the failure wise. And what is cloud native? Before going to the cloud native, we have to talk about cloud infrastructure. Previously, we were having the uh, uh, on-prem, I mean the legacy. Now, in cloud infrastructure, we are started enhancing more and more future, right? So it is not just signing up the cloud. It is about how we are going to split up the application and how we are going to customize the application, how we are going to create independent sub loosely coupled application, correct? So in terms of implementation, deployment, we will see one by one. And what is the cloud native advantage, especially on multi-tenancy? And whenever you want, you can decouple any component at any point of time, right? And even you can scale any component, any point of time, because most of the uh, uh, future or expansion only with some future, right? So even you can scale as per your need, okay? And only one functionality you want to add or expand, it's possible. That's why many organizations now started look on cloud native. And of course, the security compliance, you need to have plan and implement. And tenant wise also, you can create your own uh, 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 infrastructure and also there is a, another uh, main area where you can reduce the cost this is the major advantage the cloud native uh, you can you can predict what i'm going to get what i'm going to uh, uh, get my uh, monthly bill or what is the forecast and how do i uh, reduce my consumption right how much i can pay what i'm using so these are all uh, have more more control in cloud native and you can implement integrate CACD tool if you really looking for long term to self automated pipelines and self service. Most of the uh, business now started thinking on self service that is only possible if you go with loosely coupled uh, architecture. I mean the cloud native. So I have created a six months plan okay so in cloud native if you want to move as part of your career uh, growth then the first month is going to be programming uh, we will we will discuss it in later in detail what is mean by programming so as part of cloud native you need to start look on the uh, uh, go language or node.js and month two okay so the next month 
you have to start go on the uh, uh, the container part orchestration so month 3 you have to start concentrate on load balancer and monitoring how we can collect all the logging part because this is one of the major uh, crucial area in cloud native and month 4 you can concentrate on security and uh, single sign on authentication and certificates these are all you can learn and uh, if possible you can create your own small poc lab and you can get on it and month five how i'm going to take a backup how i'm going to restore it how the backend database because we are talking about the end-to-end -end pipeline right deploy the application create the server and uh, uh, create the cluster create the microservices uh, create a image everything but what will be the backup if anything goes wrong what will be the uh, the 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 alternative how quickly i can restore how quickly i can recover right so these are all you can concentrate on month five and month six we have implemented all this we have studied uh, programming how to create a code okay how to create a, a container loosely coupled images with the running containers and before uh, launch any container i want to do an orchestration so you create an orchestration platform on top of that you spin a number of containers right so these are all we are concentrating and learning month one two three four five now i want create all this as a workflow so start concentrate all whatever you learned in this five months as a cicd and jitops of course cacd and jitops you focus on six month right so i haven't included the seventh month plan here the seventh month is going to be whatever you learned you learned abcd all this uh, six months right so you need to start ask use cases whatever you learned each and every uh, uh, vertical every topic what kind of a use cases i need to explore it in we will come with uh, uh, come up with a more uh, in in upcoming session and the another part okay we will go more detail what i need to learn cloud native month one it is going to be microservices as i said no js or go language and containers either docker or alexi container orchestration right kubernetes or rancher you can explore it all you need to do is you need to have some uh, free tier account cloud account you can create n number of uh, 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 lab right and orchestration and even uh, you can do the automation using ansible or terraform uh, so infrastructure as a code in cloud native most of the expectation around is ansible and terraform right and orchestration and monitoring how i can monitor whatever i am implementing i need to get more alerts how i can trace right so then the third month load balancer either nginx or there are a lot of load balancer but nginx is will be easy for you to learn in your own lab right and sso single sign on and authentication fourth month and also certificate and also secret management and backup and database backup means backup including restore right and also database and ccd pipeline in sixth month and jitops so if you follow this month by month plan at the end of the six month you will have good in uh, cloud native right but each and every month while learning my advice is to create the necessary lab which i'm going to bring a very detailed explanation in the upcoming sessions please spend some time create a lab and spend your use cases there i strongly believe if you learn something learn from your own lab because when you go to the interview 
okay you no need to have real time exposure also if you spend your time on your one single server the commands are same the procedures are same maybe the volume is different right and apart from this there are couple of computing blocks you need to understand okay what is what are those what is the use of it if you say cloud native it's a api if you if you take kubernetes most of the calls are working around api if you take any cloud provider each service is a api call right so most of the companies infrastructure will be will already started getting more more uh, advantage using api so there is some credentials i am using something i am implementing something i am i am uh, demolishing something but what will be the track what will be the usage what will be the my bill right in terms of the resources that is where the building blocks you need to start think on right so if you start think on this computing blocks right it will be easy for you to understand more in terms of what is the deployment patterns right so i am saying i learned something i am going for a production but in production how i am going to manage across the uh, environments right canary deployments is there option and blue green deployments and jitops and networking for microservices architectures because when you say i am going to implement something right you need to have full structured workflow right and the second part building block which is the service mesh right so using service mesh you can implement in a full control manner right and security this is one of the hot topic nowadays whenever you implement anything here we are talking about cloud native it's a loosely coupled environment which means microservices which means containers so how secure each container because we are splitting out all application at the end of the day each sub application each loosely coupled application each loosely coupled containers right how secure it is and the secret management whatever i am implementing in each and every component where and how i am going to manage my secret management means the pass vault everything and all this observation you have to put it in a table and get the final observation to document as a artifact that is a, your con that should be your conclusion right and cloud native stages so some of you can ask what is the learning approach i can make it of right so i would say learning approach can be develop some small poc application right and stage 2 packaging you whatever you developed application that application should be uh, combined as a package because we are talking about microservices correct and stage 3 you implement some small pipeline not not a, a super duper pipeline right so because here we are we are trying to get dirty on our hands and stage 4 container schedulers whatever i am creating i want to automate as part of the schedulers and stage 5 using the infrastructure as a code you build the infrastructure right and whatever i implemented i will have to complete enable monitoring and the notification i mean the collaboration so so far we discussed on how we can plan uh, to become a cloud native right so if you have any queries please feel free to reach out to me uh, even we are uh, having our page even we are having all our uh, post everything so please feel free to reach out to us if you have any query or you can follow us you can support our initiatives we will bring more initiative in upcoming months thanks for everyone